to GTV. Today I will be showing you what a silicon diode is. Diodes are a discrete semiconductor device used in many electrical applications, including rectifiers, switches, and voltage regulators. A diode is an electronic component with a single PN junction and two terminals that function like a check valve and that it allows current to flow in one direction and not the other. A PN junction is created by a doping process to increase P-type and N-type of impurities that increases the number of holes and electrons which creates a material to allow for conduction. At equilibrium, there is no movement of electrons until a bias voltage is introduced and current flows is allowed to flow in one direction in a forward bias diode. The P-type doping is when boron, gallium, or aluminum is introduced and has a larger hole concentration than electrons. It is usually the anode of the diode with a positive polarity. The N-type of doping can be made of phosphorus, antimony, or arsenic and has more of an electron concentration. The N-type is usually the cathode with a negative polarity. Oftentimes on a diode there is a band that will indicate which is the cathode side. Looking at the electrical diagram, the diode symbol resembles a triangle pointing in one direction, usually towards the cathode, and a line crossing the tip of it. There is debate on how an electrical diagram is read with regards to electron or conventional current flow. The electron flows from negative to positive and the holes flow in the opposite direction of the electrons, allowing for conduction. Conventional current flow reads current flowing in the opposite direction of the electrons and others may read the same diagram with looking at the electron flow. When reversing the direction of the input source where the positive terminal is connected to the n-type and the negative terminal is connected to the p-type, the holes in the p-type are pulled away from the junction as well as the electrons in the n-type. When this happens, minimal current crosses the PN junction and the depletion zone in the middle widens. This makes it harder for current to flow. This is known as a reverse bias diode. In some cases, when using a reverse bias diode, the depletion zone can break down when the electric field exceeds a critical level. This can cause current to flow. Special diodes such as Zener diodes or avalanche diodes can enable the conduction of reverse current in this situation. Diodes and semiconductors along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.